Hello and welcome back to another one. It's me again with another shoe. And in this video, we're going to be making this kind of X-ray looking effect. And we'll also go over how I did the laces and uh, the stitches on the shoe. And what's really driving the effect here is the Boolean modifier. And it's really simple to set up. So let's just dive in and see what, what we can do. So I'll begin with the stitches and I'll leave a link down in the description of where I found this technique. It's really, it's really neat. Um, so it's important while, you, while you're modeling the shoe to have edge loops, to have in mind where the stitches are going to, to go through. Um, so I have edge loops that are running throughout the length of the shoe where I want the stitches. So I'll select uh, an edge loop and in edit mode and then separate it from the rest of the mesh so that it, it, it will be a separate object. And then I'll convert this uh, edge loop into a curve by hitting object, convert, convert to, and then curve from mesh. So now that I have this curve, I'll add uh, an object which, is, which we're going to make our stitch, our stitches object, and I'll shape it uh, to kind of have that shape. And then I'll add an array modifier and set it up in the preferred axis. And then after that, I'm going to add a curve modifier uh, on the object. And while you do this, it's important to have the origin of both the curve and the object in the same point in space. Uh, it'll save you a lot of trouble from trying to align uh, the two, the, the position of the objects where you want. Now I'll also set the preferred axis on the curve modifier and yeah there you have your, your stitches and to make the rest of the stitches I'll separate the other curves where I want uh, the stitches to be and then I'll duplicate the previous stitch object and then um, as long as it's still sharing the, the origin points of the new curve and this and the duplicated object are still sharing this, uh, the same position uh, of their origins. I'll just change the curve which I want and the object will just snap onto the new curve just like this. Now these curves that we're making are going to have uh, double use other than uh, using them to make the stitches. We're going to use them to form those uh, lines that you see emitting light uh, where the part of the parts of the shoe have been cut off, and uh, so I'll just go ahead and add a f add a few more, and the idea is to get just enough loops so that you can have the shape even without the shoe itself. Uh, the curves that you have will give you the general shape of a shoe, so that you can still make it out when the shoe itself has been cut off. So after adding a few curves, this is what I ended up with. And also remember you can tweak the thickness of your curve under the curve settings until you have something that looks good for you. Um, so before we go any further into building the effect, we'll cover how I made the shoelaces. And uh, first of all, I, I tried using uh, curves to also make the shoelaces, but I just couldn't uh, get them to look how I wanted. And in the end, I ended up uh, making the shoelaces by extruding um, some edges all the way from the bottom to the top and just tweaking the edges manually until I had something that I liked. And then I added a subsurf and a solidify modifier to give that uh, less some thickness. And then just a few more tweakings to just get it to look to look right. I also added to the curve that we made earlier, um, I added a few loops from the shoeless and added it to, the, to that curve to form that shape of the shoe. And with that done, I'll give it some thickness under the curve settings and give it an emissive material and then convert that shape into a mesh that can now be affected by the Boolean modifier. Now lastly, to get that effect going, I'll add the Boolean object, uh, which is a cube. And then I'll flatten it and then inside edit mode I'll duplicate it twice so that we have um, three enclosed volumes 
all in the same object. And then on the, on the strips that will be emitting light, I'll add a Boolean modifier and add that, uh, add that cube as the object. But then for the operation, we'll set it to intersect. And then for every other part of the shoe, we'll add the same uh, Boolean modifier and use the same object, but this time we use uh, the difference operation. This will make it so that anywhere where the, the strips of light are visible, the shoe will be invisible. And anywhere where the shoe is visible, the strips will be invisible. And that's basically it. It's just that simple. And I think it gives you some really cool looking results. So feel free to play around with this concept and I'm pretty sure you can come up with a lot more cool ways to, to use it. In fact, something else you could do with the Boolean modifier is have an object transition into another object like this. Or you could use this, say, if you were making like a, like a product packaging that has been redesigned. You could have it uh, change from the old design to the new design. And yeah, just there's just... There's so much room to play around with this effect. Just feel free to explore and have fun. See you in the next one.